Spring City Council considering an ordinance that would vi revise city code to create a written emergency evacuation plan for the entire city. It is called the All Hazards Evacuation Plan. Emergency management, fire, and police departments would use it in case of wildfires, tornadoes, or flooding. News 5's Mayo Davison is joining us live from City Hall tonight. She's taking a closer look into that proposal. Mayo. This would be the first time Colorado Springs has ever implemented a citywide evacuation plan. City leaders say they want to make sure everyone knows what to do if a disaster strikes, but some members of the community say they don't think it goes far enough. It's been nearly a decade since the Waldo Canyon fire and the Mountain Shadows neighborhood continues to fight for better evacuation plans. 2424 is right at the intersection of 30th and Garden of the Gods, a major choke point. People were backed up at that intersection. And you add 420 apartments that are currently in litigation. Bill Wysong says it is only going to cause more traffic congestion during an emergency. All this construction, which is what we've been talking about for over a year now, and the city council is going to hear an ordinance that doesn't even bother to discuss clearance evacuation time. Clearance evacuation times gives the city an idea of how long it would take for everyone who lives in an evacuation zone to get out safely. If they knew that it's going to take six hours, eight hours to evacuate X number of people, that is going to give them more idea of how they have to pull the evacuation trigger earlier. The proposed ordinance divides the city into zones to help with evacuation times, routes and traffic. What Zone Haven is going to do is going to bring us, like we said, probably about 200 uh, plus zones. Um, and, and the value of that is um, being able to educate the community and you'll hear this, it's going to be Know Your Zone. Zone Haven is a system that can help notify residents in specific areas. The ability for the citizens to get out of their house and hit a button that shows their house is evacuated. Because, you know, you, you go, uh, a police officer's coming in a neighborhood, maybe looking at a cul-de-sac with 15 homes on it. But some, like Song, have doubts. You got a cell tower up over here that at this site, you might get one or two bars. And it doesn't matter who the carrier is because of the topology we're in. The fire department says it is hard to determine clearance evacuation times until they know where the fire is going and what part of town it is in. The, tra the transportation department did say they are constantly evaluating and addressing any potential choke points. City Council is expected to vote on this May 24th and again June 14th. In Colorado Springs, Mayo Davison, News 5. Mayo, thank you. The hazy sky.